Hi there, so in this video I'm going to show you how I use Demio for my webinars integrated with ConvertKit. I think Demio's got an absolutely fantastic integration with ConvertKit. There's lots of different options for how you set it up, so I want to show you how I set it up. So I'm in Demio here and I'm going to add a new event. And I'm going to call this ConvertKit. Convert kit visual automation builder training for convert kit club. I'm just going to leave the tag in the description blank for now. I'm going to select when I want to run this webinar and I'm going to click continue. So these are my main options. I'm just going to say that I want the chat public and I don't want to redirect afterwards. All the advanced options live in here under advanced. So first of all, we're going to look in emails. Now, it is possible to for Demio to send emails and you can add a little bit of text um, instantly after they sign up, 24 hours before, one hour before and 15 minutes before. But I want to actually send all emails through ConvertKit. So I'm going to turn off all the Demio automatic emails because I think people look at these, I don't know, they just, they look more automated, which they are. Um, under advanced, we can look in roles. So roles, if you want someone helping you live on the webinar, I don't want to worry about that right now. The first one we're interested in is registration. So I want to tag people when they register for this webinar. So it's gonna do the first name and the, collect the first name, it's gonna collect the email address, and I want to add an integration. Now I've already integrated Demio with ConvertKit. You can do that in under settings, integrations, and here you've got the option to select ConvertKit's logo and you can put in your API key that you can get from ConvertKit and that can integrate it. So I've already set that up. So I've also already set up a tag in ConvertKit that I want to tag people with when they sign up for the webinar. So I'm going to, it's the most recent one I set up, webinar CKC Visual Automation Builder. So now when someone signs up for this webinar, they are going to be tagged. Down here, you've also got the option to set up a custom thank you page and you've got the option for the one-click signups to use in ConvertKit. So I'm going to talk about that one a little bit more in a minute, but for now that's all good. And now under automation rules, this is where the magic really happens. So I'm going to come to ConvertKit and you want to click into any account, any, any subscriber in your ConvertKit account. because what we want to do is we want to add an additional field. And in that additional field, Demio is going to put the custom join link specifically for that person. So I want to add a new field and it's gonna add for all subscribers and I'm gonna call this CKC Visual Automation Builder Webinar. Update subscriber. So now all subscribers have this additional field. It's gonna come back to Demio and I'm going to add a new rule. Now rules are very similar to ConvertKit rules. There are triggers and there are actions. So I want to set it up when someone registers. You've got various actions here. Um, I'm not worried about any of these except for save the join link. So I'm gonna select that action and then here I can find the additional field that I just created in ConvertKit and I'm gonna select that. And I'm going to save that rule. And then under advanced, just to show you what else is in here, there are, you can add materials in advanced and you can add various tracking Facebook pixels and stuff on here as well. But I'm not going to worry about that right now. Um, there are other automation rules you can add. For example, if they do join the webinar, they leave early and you can pick what percentage. You can tag them based on how long they stay. Um, you can add them to forms and stuff too, but the chances are you're gonna to wanna to tag them. So there's lots of, um, oops, 
cancel that. Yeah, this is still saved here. So I'm going to come to the registration URL now. Um, if you want to make this page look nicer, that's in under registration. If you launch the registration page editor, you can change pictures, add text, put stuff in here, change colors, etc. But I just want to show you how this works. So I'm going to sign up as Elizabeth, Elizabeth Goddard plus demo at gmail.com and I'm going to register now. This is the default thank you page. I quite like it because it has the option to add the event to their calendar. So if I come to convert kit under subscribers, I'm now going to see that I've joined here. It was a single opt-in. And here you can see that it's added my custom personal um, join link for the webinar. So when the webinar is about to start, this is the link that I want to go to for this sign up so that it tracks that they attended, how long they stayed, etc. And I've also been given the tag as I wanted to be. So the next thing I'm going to do is set up a welcome sequence that says, thanks so much for signing up for the webinar. Um, here's your join link, like keep it safe. So I'm going to go to sequences and I'm going to create a sequence and I'm going to call it CKC Visual Automation Builder Webinar. I don't know why it's doing this today. It's putting this below, but hopefully it won't be when you're looking. So I want to send it immediately. You're registered. And I'm going to put, hey, first name. Thanks so much for signing up. Here's your personal link to join when you start. And then you want to come to personalize and you want to select the additional field that you integrated with Demio. So, and then it's going to put in this short code. So it's very similar to the first name. It's going to pull whatever, whatever's in that field. So it's going to pull the URL. Um, just like, just like this. So if I preview this in the browser, it shows it with these square things around and that's how you know it's going to work for real. So that's just going to be a URL. If you also, the other option is to copy this code and then create this into a link. So you can just put this code straight into where you would normally put a URL. So when they click on that, it's going to take them to their personal link to join. Either is fine. So I'm going to publish this and save all of this. And I want to then set up a rule that says, you can do this in visual automation or as a rule. I'm just going to do it as a rule for now. Oops, where's the add rule gone? Oh, here, something's wrong today. Add rule. Um, when someone has the tag added that they've joined this webinar, red webinar, then I want to subscribe them to the webinar sequence that confirms and gives them their link. I would also personally, um, I would register when I, I would send broadcast so 24 hours before an hour before 15 minutes before I would send broadcasts and exactly the same way I would put the link in so I'd create a new broadcast I would send this to anyone who has the tag So again, I'd be like, click here, oops, click here, we're starting. Obviously, I put a hello and stuff around it. And then again, personalize, select the 
field and then I'm just going to paste that into the URL here. So that's how I would do it and then I'd schedule these up, these broadcasts up. Now the other thing that I mentioned I was going to show you, in here you've also got a one-click email link. So if I copy this, I could send an email. So this is going to be for my ConvertKit club members. So I could send an email to everyone who is uh, all my ConvertKit club members. And I could say, I'm doing a webinar, click here. Yep, it's a one click registration link. Click, oh, click here to sign up. And then I just paste in what I got from Demio. And what's going to happen then is that if anyone clicks on that link, Demio is going to register them with their first name and their email address from this account. So it's automatically going to register them for the webinar. Um, and they will also get the, they'll, they'll be tagged and they'll get that um, customized link put into the additional field, which they will then be sent. So that is the one other thing I wanted to show you actually um, before I end this video. Um, for on the registration page, you can either use the registration URL like this, and you can customize it and make it look nicer. And you can do that in the launch editor for the registration page, or you can use the form and you want to click embed. So I could use the unstyled form. Um, and if you've got somewhere where you're going to put your raw HTML, that's what you would put in there. Or you can use the styled. So I could do it like this, sign up. And then you can hover here to preview. So that's what it's going to look like. So it's going to be a really simple little um, sign up form. So if I copy this code here and I create a new page on my website, I can just embed this code into the page, into an HTML bit of the page. And then if I click preview, it's going to look like this. So that, and you, and you can put this on a page builder, you can put this wherever you want. They sign up and then they're going to get tagged and they're going to get added to the sequence and they're going to get their custom join link because that's in the additional field. You can also do um, pop-ups and you can have link text. So click here to sign up and then let me show you this one. So if I do a button and I do sign up, and I put it in black just to show you it's different. And I copy this, get rid of this, and then preview. This one's going to be a button that they can click on to sign up. Oh, it's not brought across the stuff. Uh... Huh. Okay. Well, if I click register, it's going to pop up like this, nice and neat for people to register. And that's all fully integrated with ConvertKit. Yeah, so I really like Demio for webinars. I quite like the, I like the user experience. I love the integration with ConvertKit. You can get super fancy on sending people different emails if they attended, if they left early, if they completed the webinar, if they didn't attend, etc. So... Hopefully somewhere near this video there will be an opportunity for you to ask me any questions you have, but if you are looking to run webinars and you want a really complex, not complex, a really robust integration with ConvertKit, then I encourage you to have a look at Demio.